Once again, folks, it's yours truly, Rico Vibes. It's the One Drop Reggae Show live right here on the Flavor Radio. I got a special guest on the phone. Uh, he goes by the name of Flavor McGregor. Welcome to the show, my brother. Greetings, greetings, Rico. Long time, right? I know. It's been a couple of years, man. You've been busy, I see. <laughs> busy, just busy. Just busy doing a lot of... A lot of music, you know, different genres and stuff like that. Just busy, you know. I got you. Now, the reason why we've got you here today, uh, you released an album, uh, Jack Cure's Masterpiece album. Uh, I think it was released on the 21st, 22nd of January. And No, no, actually, no, actually, this record, this record, this record, um, this record I've released, released, um, in 2000 from 2013 ah, or before that okay, okay. yes so yes so was this a re-release then ah uh, what happened um my um as you know myself and vp have been i've been fighting for years you know in court mm -hmm. so myself um vp you know myself and vp you know um come to come to an agreement where vp relinquish rights to several of of my song recording master. So what I do, you know, I start to I start to re release back all my products, you know, and remaster them. But as you know, the music I've make a shift with more the more music are now more online and digital right. and stuff like that. Right. So all I did was just remaster the works and put them out, you know, and stuff like that. You know, not even thinking about uh a Jackie or, you know, Gram, you know, a Grammy nominated for Jackie and stuff like that, but all the stuff was just coming out, you know, at a period of time. Not only that record, a lot of records with different artists, okay. you know, because I was in a lawsuit and after we settled, you know, I started to put all my stuff back out, okay. you know. Okay. And this is why I even don't send you, you know, a lot of my production. Cause you always get a lot of my production because yes. I was busy in the court Got fighting you. VP. Got you. Now, since you re released the album, uh, Jackie has released a statement that say that. Uh, he did not give you permission, or, or actually, can you go through what Jackie said as you understand it? Uh, you know what? Actually, right, I up to now, mm -hmm. I haven't really look at his look at a um, statement that he that um, you know he issues. Just um, someone told me what he said. You know, okay. you know, you know, my manager told me what he said, and you know, saying that I'm exploiting. I'm exploiting him because uh, because of um, you know his, his recent um, success um, with it, with the Grammy nominee. Uh, you know, nom nom I was like, um, no, that's 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 crazy because I've I've, I've recorded artists who sold millions of records and and win so many Grammy. Mm -hmm. You know, so for him to for him to make that statement, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that, it's like, you know, he, he, I I send out a press release and said. You know, oh, no, I post a, a, um, a message on my Facebook page and I'm going to issue a press release today. Right. You know, letting him know that he need to withdraw what he said. And mm -hmm. if he doesn't do that, I'm going to file a criminal lawsuit against him in America. You know, and also for definition of character also, mm -hmm. you know, and for slander because I have rights for those records. I pay Jack here for those records. Mm -hmm. You know, those records are copywritten. Not only that, Jack your publisher... You know, I have also account to Jack your publisher right. on those records. You know, so therefore, if I don't have rights for a record, I would I couldn't account to your publisher. Your publisher would have blocked that record years ago, right? Gotcha. And you know, the music industry run. Right. You know, there are times when a producer compose, compose, and write the lyrics and stuff like that, and pay an artist for the record. Therefore, the producer don't need the artist permission. But in a case where in a case with Jackie, or he did contribute to the lyrics, so therefore it required for me to have a mechanical license, which it was, mm -hmm. which it was um, given to me by his publisher at that time. You know, given to me verbally because myself and his publisher is very close. His publisher also do a lot of work for my company, mm -hmm. so she's the one who actually did all the accounting for Jackie mm -hmm. and we are proof of that. That you know, you get accounting for for the royalties, and you get accounting. For his publish, for his publishing, and which she did it, and I don't know if she gave it and stuff like that. So for him to make such statement, now nah, you have to take that back. Else, I'm going to sue him, okay. and seriously, I'm going to sue him. And I'm also going to write his manager and tell him that if he don't withdraw that statement, mm -hmm. I'm going to sue him. Okay. Now, Jack Q is, is you know what I gathered from the statement is that uh, he's not saying that you don't have rights to the record. 
you know, I, I, that's what I'm gathering. But he's saying the timing, the fact that you're trying to capitalize off of his Grammy nomination, is is where yeah. I'm, I'm getting what he's going with it. Yeah, but but for me, I know it's more than that. Okay. I know he's trying to be careful of, maybe because of the situation he's in, he's trying to be pick his word and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. As I said to you, the record have been out before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jockin, um is record label that he signed with VP Records, mm -hmm. know that the record have been out before. Okay. Right? For Jackie to make such statement, it has to come from his record label VP. They're the one who put his, they're the one who put the record out. Oh, so they got to be the one who tell him to do this, you know. Most of these regular artists, they don't understand the business and they they need to get educated about the business and stop have these record label mm -hmm. to let them and producer who help them to accomplish success to fall out. Because guess what? The moment Grammy's over, those label gone to the next artist. Yeah. We're going to still be here. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like for me, no disrespect to Jack Yor, and I hope, he, I hope you do the same thing, and don't disrespect me, mm -hmm. because, you know, I'm not going to take it light, seriously, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just not going to take it light, I'm not disrespecting him, or, or, or whatever, but I just want to make it clear that, I have the right to those records, because that's the next thing going to come up, he didn't have the right, so I'm making it clear, all these sound recording master is copy written, I don't want Jack Yor understand what I'm saying, Ask your record label or ask your manager what copywritten means. The sound recording master is copywritten mm -hmm. in the Library of Congress. I have full rights to exploit these master, And I also have an obligation as a producer to account to you what is due to you as an artist. I'm not here to exploit you. We mm -hmm. made the record together. Guess what? It's a, it, you're entitled mm -hmm. to whatever percentage you're entitled for. You know, I, I, I write music, I compose music, I'm like an artist. Mm -hmm. So I don't need to exploit artists. Producer and artists work together. Producer need to be fair, artists need to be fair. It's not a one-sided thing. Wow. And with this, the statement that he made is just unacceptable. Gotcha. So you are, you are, uh, not only do you want an apology, but you do you want him to come out publicly and apologize for what the statement that he made? He have to come out and he have to come out publicly and withdraw that statement as like, I'm going to sue him. Okay. Seriously, going to sue him. All right. hmm. Seriously. Wow. You know, if I'm he don't do that, I'm going to sue him. I already notified my lawyer about it, mm -hmm. and I told my lawyer I'm going to email his, his manager this afternoon or his publisher and tell him I'm giving Jack your 24 hours to do that. And if he doesn't do it, he's going to have a legal problem. And I'm serious about that because just as though he's protecting his brand, I'm also protecting my brand. And that's fair. That's fair. Uh, and it's fair. I'm not trying to disrespect him, and I hope he's doing the same thing. You know, gotcha. you know I'm not here. I'm not here to fight with someone who, you know, I help, I contribute to his career. I'm not. I'm, I'm not the kind of person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm not here to exploit him. Never will. A producer, an artist, we make a record together. We share the profit, hmm. and it's simple as that. So let, let me ask you, you know, I'm going to ask you to speculate a little bit. What what do you think mm -hmm. is Jack Kyo's, uh motivation to come out with a statement like that? His record label, VP. Okay. His record label, VP. Okay. Because VP have a personal, personal vendetta against me. I know they have, they have something personal against me. Number one, because I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't do business with them anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't record their artists anymore mm -hmm. because they're criminals. They're crooks. I don't deal with them, period. I don't deal with VP Records. And any reggae artist that is signed to VP Records is off Kemar Flavor McGregor list. I X them off. Okay. And if you check, most of the artists them that are mega hit from 2006 to 2009, since I stopped giving VP my records, they don't have a hit right now. And the reason why? Because I don't produce them anymore. Any artist signed to VP records, I don't talk to them anymore or record them. No bad vibe or nothing. Mm -hmm. and to show you how much I see this. We're talking about artists such as Egyptian. You've worked with Egyptian. You've worked with Etana. 
Uh, name somebody other artists. Every single mm-hmm. artist that is signed to VP Records, mm-hmm. from once you clear the VP Records banner, mm-hmm. you're deleted. Wow. And no disrespect. And I said to you, I contributed a career, especially the Egyptian. If it wasn't for me, nobody will know Egyptian. I'm no disrespect. I'm 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 not the kind of producer who would disrespect, you know, you know, artists. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I'm the one that, you know, that helped, you know, you know put you where you are and I'm not gonna tear you down. Right. Right. You know? I don't do that. I'm not gonna tear you down, but you put yourself in a situation, hey, I can't help you. I'm not gonna work with you and that's it. Okay. Well, you know what? To be fair, we're going to reach out to Jack Kill and see if he can answer to some of these uh, um, reports that has been written on Facebook, on social media. I did go on his um, his Instagram and saw the report that he wrote, he put up. Um, so we're going to reach out to him and see what he what you know get his side of the story, um, and hopefully, yes, you know, I will, I will, I will, I will hope, I will hope, I will hope you do that. But for me, mm-hmm. as I said, no disrespect. I'm not here to disrespect. The cure, and you know, again, you know, he, you know, if he felt that, if he felt um, that, you know, you know, that I'm trying to exploit, you know, right. his, his, re- his recent accomplishment, no, nothing like that. I have, I have, I have, that's 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 far, that's far from my mind. As I said to you, I've worked with so many artists outside of reggae that sold millions of records. And if Jack Cure, um, have, uh, if Jack Cure, and I'm gonna, say, um, um, Rico, just to make it clear to you, mm-hmm. as I said to you, myself and VP Records was in court for years, right? I, I'm aware of that, yes. Any artist that's, that's signed to VP Records, you know, mm-hmm. I agree not to work with them. And since Jack Cure signed to VP Records, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I just don't speak with them. And I don't biz- do business with him, right? And I never will because he's, he's signed with VP Records. But if he did have his publisher, who I'm very, very close with, and I'm also disappointed in it, his publisher reached out to me and said, Kimar, um, you know what? Jack, you are is doing such and such. Um, you know, maybe, you know, I know you have this record out for a while, and, and I know your situation. You were in court, so you're putting it out. Putting it out. Putting it out now. Can you... Um, remove it and, and stuff like that. I would have done so because as I just said to you, I'm not here to tear down any artist. Right. I would have done that. I've contributed so much to the reggae industry. Mm-hmm. So for you know, um you know, by the way, you know, congratulation to um with it, um you know with his Grammy, you know right. congratulations. He, he's nominated for it. So, you know, you know, big him up on and I'm not here to disrespect him or try to say, Oh, I'm a writer on that. You know, reggae is a disaster. What is a reggae for to ride on? Look at the state of his record. It's not that great. Right. Well, you understand? I'm not here to do that. No, well, let me... So if he did reach out to me or his manager, mm-hmm. I would have, you know, just moved the record and, until, you know, he do what he's doing because I'm not here to fall out with any artist that I contribute to their career. I will never do that. Well, let, let, me, let me just play devil's advocate for a second here. I mean, if, is it, do you think it's fair for you to stop doing business with an artist just because of the fact that he may choose to do business with VP Records? Don't you think you're stifling the business and kind of... No, no, no. No, it isn't. it's not. Okay. Um, you have to understand that 99% of reggae artists do not have the knowledge. Mm-hmm. They don't know about them. They don't have the knowledge about how the industry run, right? Right. Most of them, they just sign sign um, a production agreement with these record label, and they don't have, you know, I would say, um, creative rights, okay. you know, mm-hmm. over their work, or, or which producer, whatever producer they work with. Okay. So what they do, when they record for a producer and stuff like that, and if, you know, their record label don't agree, VP don't agree with it, what they will do, they will send a junction to the producer. Hey, we didn't grant you the permission to do this. And the reason for that, because these artists don't protect themselves to say, hey, you know what? I have a chemistry with flavor, so I want to have the, the creative you know, rights over my work to choose whatever producer I can work with. Gotcha. They don't secure that. So for me to continue to work with artists who don't secure themselves, that's going to continue to bring me in a legal, legal situation. It don't make any sense. Okay. 
Okay. I know better, right? If I go into a court, what do you think the judge is going to say to me? Hmm. I know better. So it's not that because of my difference with VP records, why I don't work with the artisan. It's just what they sign. Gotcha. Okay. All right. It's what they sign. Wow. Once again, folks, we're talking live with Flavor McGregor. Now, you, you, the name of your label is now FM Records. Is there a particular reason why? No, it's, Go ahead. It's, just, it's the same It's the same Flavor McGregor Records, right? Okay. The same thing. Okay. Yeah. Right. FM Records, Flavor McGregor Records. Okay. You know, it's the same thing. All right. <laughs> what, what, Same thing. what do you have coming up? I know you're working on a lot of things. You're always busy in the studio. What do you have coming uh, up? Listen, I have, I, have, I, have, um, I have a lot of stuff working on. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have this rhythm now that I'm um, putting putting together with, which I, I don't want to call a name, which feature, you know, a few pop artists on it, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. which going to come out, I would say, the end of March. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm doing... I'm doing a couple um, dub track, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm working on a lot of stuff, which you're going to be the first to get them, um, um, you know, Rico. Because I'm, remember, the business has changed. I'm not just producing um, reggae artists anymore. So we work on certain projects that we have to kind of keep it, gotcha. you know, gotcha. confidential gotcha. until gotcha. until we all signed off on it and said, okay, we agree. This is what we're going to do, whatever. So we have to keep it hush hush until I understand. It's because in America it's totally different. It's business. It's not, it's not like Jamaica. You just produce something and, and you leak it and it go right, there. It's right. different here. Gotcha. You know. Gotcha. So gotcha. a lot of stuff in the pipeline coming, and you're going to be the first to get them. Appreciate Trust me. That. Appreciate that. Well, you know what? I had to get you on here today, man, because you know, you know, we try to stay on top of what's going on in the business of dancehall and reggae. And when I saw that <laughs> report, I said, you know, I gotta, I gotta find out what's going on. <laughs> you know, yeah, and get it firsthand. Yeah. I don't, I don't go with third-hand information. I want to get it straight from the heart system, out, so to speak. Yeah, and again, thank God again. You know, it, it's nice for you, you know, to reach out mm-hmm. and to make it clear. I do not, I don't have nothing against Jacure, mm-hmm. and you know, he. I'm not going to say he said anything. Um, said anything really, you know. But certain certain things that he make in that um um statement, you know, it could be it is very damaging, you know, yeah. to my brand. Yeah. And he just he just need to he just need to fix it because, you know, his publisher is fully aware mm-hmm. of, of this and his record label is fully aware of it. So that's all I'm saying. You know, no disrespect to him and I hope he don't make this go any further because it's it's just not gonna be nice. And I and I'm pretty sure he don't want that. You know? Right. And again, I say, yo, it's just peace, love, and unity. Too much violence and crime in Jamaica, and we don't need that. It's just love me, I deal with, and, you know, and I, I think that's the same thing the cure is dealing with, too. No bad vibes, gotcha. nothing. Gotcha. But I just I just can't speak with him. You know, again, to make it clear to um, um, Rico, he did try to call my phone. Okay. Yes, he did try to call my phone, but again, because of certain legal thing mm-hmm. with his record label. I couldn't take his call, so whatever you have to say, he will have to probably say to his manager or his lawyer. Got you, got you. But no bad vibes, right. nothing. All right, so we set the record clear, Mister Flavor McGregor. Always a pleasure, my brother. It's been a few years, but you know, you know, just like yesterday, we pick up talking, just like we <laughs> left off yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Rico, big up yourself because um, you know, you know, you're one of the the. You know, the DJ out there that is keeping the music, you know, alive and, you know, you know, you know, you know, giving the people the information and stuff like that. And I hope a lot of artists, you know, out there that are listening to this, you know, support Rico, Thank you know, because I know a lot of artists them also is charging, you know, rated DJs and stuff like that for dubs and jingles and stuff like that. And you, you guys need to stop it because these are the people that promote the music, you know, mm-hmm. Rico. Thank you. Big up yourself. Thank you, my brother.